hello my lovely people welcome back again this is Pamela's cooking and it's your lady Pamela in the house in today's video we are going to make Ghana Kutumi Foyer or spinach stew and I already have my spinach cleaned I have my fresh tomatoes I have my onions chopped in here I have my pepper my garlic and also some onions blended and I'm going to use mackerel fish. I also have my protein cooking. I'm using ule and shaki for my stew. And I'm going to use oil instead of palm oil. If you like palm oil, please do use it and enjoy it. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here, welcome again to my channel. Subscribe and join us and enjoy simple, easy recipes with us. And to my retainers, thank you guys for your support, for your love, for always clicking on my videos and supporting. I appreciate you all. So let's start cooking. So we are starting. I'm going to add in my oil. I'm using vegetable oil. You can use any oil of your choice. But if you want to enjoy it the Ghana way, use palm oil and you're going to love it too. I'll also go ahead and add my onions in. I'll now go ahead and add my blended pepper, onion. And with the fresh tomatoes, it's a must you use fresh ones so you can enjoy it more the time. But if you don't have it, feel free to use any type of tomato you have. But if you can do it fresh one, you are going to enjoy your stew very well. So I will allow this to cook for at least four five minutes and then we are going to put in the next ingredients. And my tomato is well cooked to my taste so all I'm going to do now is add in my protein and even shaki and wole cow skin. And with the fish also, you can use any fish of your choice. I enjoy mackerel much better with this sauce. There hasn't been any salt in my stew so far, so I'm adding in some salt to taste. this to cook for another five minutes and then I'm going to add my spinach and you're almost done and at this stage I'm going to add in my spinach already washed just like this At 
this stage I added some frozen spinach in because it wasn't enough for me so I added some frozen ones so I'm going to allow it to melt and then we are almost done Lovely people, this is the end result. Just look at my sauce looking yummy and it's done. So, thank you so much for keeping up with me. And for this sauce, you can have it with rice. Today, we are going to have it with rice, plain rice. You can have it with boiled plantain, yam, cocoa yam, anything you can think of. You can also enjoy it with spaghetti goes very very nice with that so thank you again keep coming keep supporting me see you again with another simple easy recipe for me thank you and bye bye